the floor this afternoon to speak about Mike Evans, the Finance Committee's Chief Counsel, who is retiring at the end of this week. This is going to bring to a close 27 years of extraordinary Senate service and almost nine on the Finance Committee staff. And Mr. President, it's not an atomic secret that uh, I'm very, very much involved in basketball, whether it's with my children or still dreaming about how it didn't work out to play in the NBA. But to just paraphrase one thought with respect to the way this place works in terms of actually getting results the way Mike Evans did on the IRA, the hugely important bill, where the major pieces came from the Finance Committee, where we had extraordinary work done by the President of the Senate. If you speak in the parlance of basketball, Mike Evans will long be remembered as one of the all-stars, the NBA all-stars, so to speak, of Senate service. He has, without any doubt, for millions of people in Oregon and across the country, caused them to have a better life because of his work in the Senate. And to just tick off a few of the reasons why I feel that way, let me just give a bit of history. In uh, early 2014, 2014, I had a brief tenure as chairman of the Finance Committee. And to uh, the Senate's great fortune, Mike agreed to return to be the Senate's chief counsel. His experience goes back to days when he did good work for Chairman Baucus. And the reality is, since then, you name a big legislative accomplishment in the areas of health care, tax policy, working for working families, Mike has been right at the heart of it. A few examples. Not long after Mike's return, the Senate passed the largest set of tax cuts for working families in many years. There was a 2015 trade debate that was all about what I call getting trade done right. Strong enforcement, serious protections for workers in the environment, more sunlight in our trade policy than ever before. Many members had said we had never approached trade in that way. And with Mike's good work, there were colleagues on our side of the aisle who said, this is the first trade bill we're voting for. Starting in 2017, there was a shift in our work as Finance Committee Democrats focused on protecting vulnerable Americans from the Trump administration's policies that singled out the vulnerable. We stopped the effort to repeal the Affordable Care Act and destroy Medicaid in its tracks. We showed the American people that the Trump tax law was not a middle-class tax cut. Above all, it disproportionately favored billionaires and corporations. And we saw that all through the Trump years. Mike was absolutely crucial, developing a strong, innovative, progressive agenda for the next time Democrats led the committee. When the pandemic hit, the committee stepped up and sprung into action. We came up with historic legislation to support workers and small businesses to prevent an economic collapse. More recently, with the good work particularly done by Senator Brown and Senator Bennett, Senator Casey, Senator Booker, my colleagues, the Finance Committee led the effort to pass the largest reduction in child poverty ever to come from one bill. The President of the Senate knows we worked for a full decade a full decade to pass the largest clean energy bill in U.S. history, a major step in the fight against climate change. Mr. President, it does not happen. It simply does not happen without the gentleman sitting next to me, Mike Evans. Medicare is going to start delivering a big dose of price relief for prescription drugs, and so seniors are going to benefit. And in fact, Mr. President, Mike Evans always told me 
let's make sure you can get help to people soon. That means, Mr. President, in literally a couple of days, on October 1st, because of Mike's good work, we're going to start seeing penalties for price gouging by big pharmaceutical companies. They're going to have to write out checks to Medicare for the amount over inflation. Mike Evans led the fight on those issues, right at the center of our major accomplishments. In the column of ongoing priorities, we said something's not right. If nurses and firefighters in Maine or Mississippi or any other state pay taxes with every paycheck, billionaires can pay what they want when they want to. And we've been saying we want everybody to be successful. My goodness, that's what America's about. But we also want everybody to pay their fair share. And I'm really pleased that the president of late's been talking about a billionaire minimum income tax. So we've been coming together, all in the name of fairness. And Mike looked specifically at how to do that and address the parliamentary and legal concerns. I'd be on the floor until breakfast time tomorrow. I see our friend from Mississippi has something that's important uh, to him. And I just want to close with one last uh, point. You know, I think if you walked into a coffee shop in Maine or Oregon or Mississippi and you said, well, let me talk to you a little bit about reconciliation, people would be a little baffled with you, but um, maybe they'd say, I hope folks, the couples can work it out or something. I haven't followed this reconciliation too much. Well, we know here in the Senate, reconciliation is a briar patch of tricky rules and procedures get something wrong, all the work you've done to come up with a good policy goes by the boards. So you got to comply with the bird rules, which in something resembling English, and Mike, of course, speaks this unique tongue of the whole bird rule world, it means scrubbing your legislation for bird rule violations, writing tomes of legal memoranda, and then you got to go before the Senate parliamentarian, make sure your bill stands up to scrutiny. And I see, I see the parliamentarian right there. And as she knows, we're very appreciative of her professionalism. Mike and I, I think, would be the first to say, you don't win all the calls. You know, that's kind of the way it works. But the parliamentarian's always been professional. And somehow, I think, Mike Evans and the parliamentarian, they're, wherever they're going to be in the years ahead, they're going to be batting around the ideas of what it takes to move legislation forward in the Senate. So this is as much a compliment of Mike and the parliamentarian as to say, this is, for all its flaws, part of what you have to do to get issues addressed and do it fairly, and nobody in this country has more experience on this floor than Mike Evans. And if you want to think about remembering Mike, as I will, uh, opposing counsels sort of weep when Mike Evans walks through the door because he, they know that with that full stack of binders and materials, he is ready. And Mr. President, if I can go back to my basketball roots, when you're dealing with Mike Evans, you better come to play because he is ready every single time out. Now, typically these arguments are handled by brilliant staff before the parliamentarian. On one occasion, I gather a senator kind of strutted into the room and challenged Mike to a debate. Um, I'm not sure how it ended, but Mike is pretty much undefeated against colleagues on the other side who actually have election certificates. Now, in all seriousness, the many hours of work he's put into these bird rule arguments, work that I know feels like a real slog, it's part of making life better for people, and we appreciate Mike doing it. Last point I want to make is about Mike's uh, character. He has a great sense of humor. It's wonderful to be around. 
He's kind. He is a mentor to younger staff. He is the only person I know who can pepper Shakespeare quotes and Springsteen lyrics into the same discussion of dense economic policy. So some people get lost around here in the jargon of what happens up here. Mike's about helping real people get ahead in life, particularly somebody who doesn't have power and clout and somebody who just deserves a fair shake. He's never lost sight of that as his lodestar. And uh, we are so thankful for his years of service. And last announcement, um, just to wrap up. I think Mike feels, and I do too, that if you're going to step into big shoes, and these are NBA-style shoes, Mr. President, they're big. We're really thrilled that Tiffany Smith will be the new Finance Committee Chief Counsel starting next week. She's a 15-year veteran of the Finance Committee, been our Chief Tax Counsel since 2016. She leads the best and most effective tax team there is. She's been in the trenches with Mike for years, and I think she's going to reflect very well on the Finance Committee and, uh, and the Senate. She's got a huge uh, record of accomplishments as well. You'll see those uh, talents in action soon. She's going to hit the ground running. And uh, I'll just say, as I see my friend from Mississippi uh, here, if any colleagues on the other side of the aisle think they're going to get a break in reconciliation debates when Mike retires, they got another thing coming with Tif Tiffany Smith. She is somebody who's going to be able uh, to fill his shoes very, uh, very well. Mike can now get on to the season passes that apparently he wants to the Folger. He can go tour with the boss, and he can catch all the Red Sox and Celtics games he wants. But I've said this before, staff can leave our office, but they don't get to leave our uh, special family and with enduring thanks to Mike Evans, enduring thanks for the good work he's done that have made lives better in this country. Mike, big thanks. Godspeed. I yield the floor.